Well, fall, you know, it's not that far away and back to school is getting closer. So it's time to hit the road before your summer is completely gone for good. Cincinnati Magazine's new August issue is packed with fresh ideas for your next weekend road trip. And our friend editor in chief, John Fox, is here to share some of the unexpected spots that you should check out. Good morning. Hey, how are you? Good. This I love it uh, when you have issues like this yeah. because I'm always looking for ideas and kind of you come back to some of the same ones, which are great. There's a yeah. lot of great things around here, but you have some unexpected and unique things in this issue. Well, I'd like to think they're unique, but uh, you know, everybody's different. Like right. for instance, one of the big things we talk about is going to Lake Michigan, especially the southern part of those towns like Saugatuck and, oh, yeah. and uh, Benton Harbor. But to a lot of people, that's something they do all the time. But like for me, I, I kind of am late to the Michigan party. And so um, we just thought, well, it's only about four and a half hours away. So if you wanted to try uh, your first experience with Lake Michigan, you know, something that's just a quick drive, those southern towns might be good. And then we do Chicago and Nashville. So it's all like four and a half, five hour drive. I was going to ask you, you if know, there was a yeah. range kind of, yeah. Yeah, I mean, you know, Bob talked about driving to Myrtle Beach. I mean, you know, people do that. <laughs> they do. Uh, but we're trying to, uh, shorter road trips that you could probably do in a weekend. Something you could accomplish yeah. in a weekend. Yeah. All right, so let's talk about, you mentioned some places yeah. up in Michigan. What are some other towns that you kind of feature? Yeah, so we talk about Columbus, Indiana. Okay. Which a lot of people don't know about. Most, I guess a lot of people around here do, but it's really a big town for architecture. There's, um, a lot of interesting architects have built buildings there, and so that's kind of become their thing is come and look at different architecture styles. And you know, around here we all know about Columbus, Ohio, sure. but you know, Columbus, Indiana. We also talk about um, some, ro some um, uh, pit stops you can make along the way, like uh, uh, roadside attractions, and you just saw on there. Uh, one of my favorites is this thing called Cornhenge. Have you heard of this? I think I've heard of it, but yeah. explain what it so is. So it's up people. near Dub it's Dublin, you yeah. know, a suburb of Columbus. Right, not far from where it's, I grew up. Yeah, it's um, big concrete statues of corn <laughs> in a field. Okay. There's like 20 or 30 of them. I don't know why they're there, but it's, you know, so they, they, they named it Cornhenge. But so. these are the kind of things yeah. that we would never know no, about without, exactly, right. you know, you guys finding these right. things There's a for little us. town in Illinois we talk about that's got the world's largest rocking chair and the world's largest mailbox. So that's kind of like their thing. So you can go and see like right. a dozen world's largest objects. Because a lot of times, like you said, we take some of the same trips or yeah. we go to Gatlinburg or we yeah. go to Nashville or, yeah. you know, right. Indiana somewhere. But knowing about some of these things yeah. along the way, Half the fun exactly. is the road trip. Like on our cover, so this is um, Taylorsville Lake, Taylorsville Lake, which is between Louisville and Lexington. Okay. So it's, you know, when people in Kentucky talk about the lake, you know, it's usually down south. Right. So Lake Cumberland or, or that kind of thing. But so this is a lot closer. Um, we've got a lot of cool things. So anyway, you're right. We could have written about Lake Cumberland, but we decided to try to find a different kind of different lake that things. maybe you wouldn't have known about. What about some events that people might be looking for? Yeah. Like, you know, I want to go somewhere, but I, I kind of want to do something event like, what are you featuring? Do you have a twin sister or brother? No, I don't have a twin, okay. no. I don't either. But up in Twinsburg, Ohio, they have Twins Day. Do they? Yeah, in, in, uh, in August. And so it's a celebration of twins. Fun. And so, so if you're a twin, I guess if, even if you're not a twin, you could still go. But we talk about Twinsburg. We talk about in Nashville, they have a, um, in East Nashville, they have a thing called the Tomato Art Festival, which is art about tomatoes and people dress up like tomatoes and they throw tomatoes <laughs> at each other. Yeah, I know. It's See, Nashville, you know. But that's great. Yeah. You, I, I had yeah. never heard of that yeah. before. Um, and you've got all kinds of destination restaurants too, yeah. like something that people would set, like, this is what I'm doing for my weekend. I'm right. going to drive to this place for this incredible restaurant. What so are we have a, of one of the restaurants we talk about is a restaurant called Bluebeard. It's in Indianapolis okay. and it's a, it's a fairly new restaurant, but the owner, um, the chef, won a James Beard uh, award or was nominated for a finalist. And so um, we had somebody in Indianapolis, a food critic, write it up for us. And uh, the quirk about that is that they don't take any reservations. So it's one of these restaurants where you got to line up. Oh. And you know, it was like a literally a line out the door kind of thing. So anyway, if you, if you want to go to Indianapolis and you're looking for some different kind of place to eat, 
Bluebeard might be that a, sounds cool. something to try. That sounds fun. And yeah. what I like, too, about this episode, er, issue, <laughs> this episode, um, this issue fun. is that you guys, your staff also had s some great picks of snacks to take along yeah. the way, music to play, yeah. so that's in there as well. Yeah, so, yeah, except they wouldn't let me put any of my songs. What? Uh, I got one song. What's your song that made it? It's, um, now you put me on the spot, it's uh, Get Your Motor Running, Get On The Highway. Perfect. Born how, To Be Wild, Steppenwolf. Yes. I know. Well, they let, that, they let that they get let that on side. there. Okay. But none of my other songs made it on the <laughs> list. So, yeah, so we have a playlist. We actually have a QR code in here. You can take a picture of it, and it goes to our, it's on Spotify, really? our actual list. Yeah, That's and so you, fun. you can play it as you're driving. We talk about snacks. We talk about Bucky's and Wawa and Sheets. Those are phenomenons yeah, in and of themselves. The Bucky's is a destination for people. Bucky's is, but Sheets and Wawa are from the East Coast, and they're both coming into this area. Mm -hmm. the Sheets is up in Dayton. Wawa's, in Columbus, too. And Dayton, Columbus, and uh, Wawa's coming to Cincinnati. So we talk about that. Um, snacks, you know, Grippo's pretzel loops and gummy bears and... <sighs> yep. Got to have the good stuff. Hen going. of the Woods potato chips. There you so, go. Yeah. All right. Well, it, it's out it's in, uh, now be or out, in two days? It, well, subscribers should have it now, but okay. it'll be on sale probably on Thursday or Friday. Okay. So, yeah. All right. Well, it sounds like a great one for everybody yeah. to have, especially, and not just wrap it up the summer, but going into the fall, too. Good recommendations. Yeah. You know, again, these are weekend trips, so you could take, yeah. a, you could take a weekend trip in September or October. Sure. The weather will still be fine. Be great. So. All right, John Fox, thank, thank you so you. much. You can always find our stories here on YouTube, but go ahead and tap subscribe. That way you're always in the know.